She was just an ordinary small town teenager, but a year ago she achieved global fame through her brutal rape and murder. Eneen Boyson's death in February 2013 shocked South Africa and the world. Um, I was called out at about 10 o'clock at night and there was a woman stark naked in our charge office. Um, she'd been raped and she'd been stabbed in the back and in the arm. Oh. And the perpetrator had then burned all of her clothing. So she had to walk to the police station completely naked and suffer that humiliation on top of everything mm. else that she had just experienced. Yeah, I just want to share a little bit. Um, my daughter was about three years old when she was um, sexually abused by my brother. And when, when we confronted uh, my brother and, and the family about this whole incident, we, we were totally ostracized and we were totally, we were in the wrong to, to bring this up and all of us. This story resonates very closely for me as well because it happened to a friend of mine and her sister who was very young at the time with an uncle and the family did exactly the same thing. I just think that they couldn't bear the thought that somebody in their midst, one of them, was capable of something like that. So they just all stuck their heads in the sand and, and left it. There's got to be a much more compassionate, gentle, holistic treatment of women who have the courage to report what has happened to them. I think that to recognize that what has happened to you is not a reflection of you as a person. So you should not let it define you. And the high levels of rape against women and particularly girls in this country. And let's not ignore the fact that men are raped too. I have decided that I don't want to be the kind of person who knows that rapes happen so frequently around him and does nothing about it. You might think that by playing a beep every four minutes doesn't change society either. Well, it's a start. And by starting in your own way to make a difference, you too eventually will see a change. And we'll all see this change together.